What's happening guys? Today we're talking about a major power source on the serve. And if we know that 50% of the power comes from the ground up, that's right from your legs. And this, we're not necessarily talking about jumping, we're talking about loading. Remember, it's loading energy down, the ground doesn't go anywhere, it creates that kinetic chain. But that's just half of the story. So the other half, we're talking about what your upper body is doing. And what we see on the professional tours, one of two ways. So we know, we, we've talked a lot about the rear pelvic tilt, and this has to do with keeping the arm up through the motion and making sure that the hitting shoulder gets below the tossing shoulder, right? And so that is one manner. And then the second manner is corkscrewing. And corkscrewing has a lot to do, we see this with Federer, and this has a lot to do with the base in which you set up. So players that are more platform, that are tossing more at three o'clock parallel to the baseline, they're gonna get a whole lot more corkscrewing along with this because their arm goes so far away from their body. So they're combining the two axes. The first axis is just working with the shoulder below, the hitting shoulder below the tossing shoulder, enabling this rear pelvic tilt. And then the second is corkscrewing. So as they're here, they're also rotating. Those two things combined lend itself to really, really big power, but they're both not necessary. In fact, the corkscrewing piece is where a lot of us get in trouble because it creates a disjointed serve. If we don't play a lot, if we're not serving regularly, if we're not a professional athlete or a high level athlete, it can be really difficult to time these aspects of the serve. So therefore, we wanna make sure that we're just focusing on getting into this archer's pose. So this archer's pose, we, we see this with serves like Kyrgios, Bublik, guys that aren't using the big corkscrew, and they're still coiling, just not nearly as much as a guy like Fed, who tosses at three o'clock. But the key here, and this is what I want you to be mindful of, is as you're going through your serve, your hitting elbow is staying on the outside of your body, meaning that it's tracking back as if you were getting ready to throw a ball. If I was to throw a ball, I would never want my arm over here, right? I wouldn't want to over rotate and try to throw from here, I'd lose all that coil. So I wanna feel this big stretch through my upper body, my chest, and this is the archer's pose. So as the ball goes up, right there, you can see I can draw a line from my hitting elbow, to, um, it's my, the, rack, the hand holding the racket, my hitting elbow to the hand that's tossing. That is the line that we're looking for the archer's pose, and that is what results in shoulder over shoulder as well. So shoulder over shoulder is simply, as the right shoulder starts below the left, it finishes on top. It ends up above the left shoulder. And that is a key mechanism for power. So if you're struggling out there with your serve, focus on just getting that rear pelvic tilt, initiating and let that hand follow all the way up. This is gonna help you get into that tilt motion and find that archer's pose. For your advanced players, then you can start focusing more on the corkscrewing, but remember, that's also a byproduct of how you're tossing. So platform, you're gonna see corkscrewing a whole lot more. Pinpoint, probably not as much. Hint, mon, hints, Monfils, Bublik, and Karyos. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will see you next time.